We hate women. We hate women. Whatever happened to church and state? They used to be friends. This is a great way for us to control women. Sir, how are you doing? Listen, you're not with our group. I don't yes, want you I am with you. No, you're not. I am with you. I hate women. I hate women. That's why I'm here, okay? Right I deserve there. to be here. I think everyone here agrees with me. I 100% agree. Yeah. I'm here because I cannot trust women to make their own decisions in life. If I could trust women to make their own decisions, then uh, I'd be with you people. <laughs> women making their own decisions. Can you imagine that? Why are you touching him? Why are you touching him? Are you touching him? Do not belong to our group. Yes, I'm I, hearing that in my I, I believe ear. that yeah, America is a crystal fascist yeah, state yeah. and I hate women. It's, can I stay now? Let's dig into this. The man that you're seeing there is probably one of the most notorious clinic invaders. Clinic invader. He is above the, you know, forced birther. He's a literal clinic invader. Yeah, his name is Father Fidelis. He, Okay. Oh, right. He's a clergyman, right? The guy putting his hands on me, getting aggressive. That's a clergyman right there. Ha! So everyone in the activist community that's involved in protecting clinics, protecting Planned Parenthood, protecting people as they go to get health care, they know who he is because he notoriously invades clinics. And he does so with the express uh, in, you know, approval and support of the NYPD. The NYPD, he has, he got friends high up in the NYPD, detectives, all that stuff. Father Fidelis, NYPD, mm. Which is even funnier, is if you look up Father Fidelis, you'll see that he's constantly going to jail. I, mean, I think he's in jail right now, actually. He's in jail right now because he will go into a Planned Parenthood and <clears throat> you know, padlock the doors, lock everyone inside and lock and chain himself in there with everyone, terrorize the people that are getting health care, right? Because people don't just go to Planned Parenthood for an abortion, they go there for routine. There's more than one thing that they do, more than one service they provide. Uh, but people like him, they don't care about that at all. So he clearly doesn't care about women, people getting health care at all. So, uh, you know, which means I, I wanted to join his protest and be honest and make a sort of an honest protest, right? And I was like doing a little sing-songy, like, we hate women, we hate women, we hate women, that's why we're here, right? Like get a little chant going, right? Kind of, you know, move the crowd a little bit and bring some good old-fashioned honesty to this uh, forced birther crowd. They're forced birther, pro-life, hmm, it's forced birther. Right now, the funniest part, well, not so funny, but yeah, is when I posted this video, there were tons of comments from, you know, the incels, chuds, groipers about the restraint he showed me, how he showed such restraint amount around me. Now, look at the difference. I was exercising my First Amendment right, as was he, but that we're not in First Amendment territory when he puts aggressively puts his hands on me. He did so in the video multiple times. Like in the video, he did this. Okay? And still like their 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 reaction was, oh well, you know, he should have done more. And, you know, he only grabbed him aggressively and didn't, you know, pummel him for exercising also exercising my First Amendment rights. Which may I, I don't I'm getting the the feeling that they actually don't care about the First Amendment. It's more of like that, uh, you know, freedom for me, not for thee type of thing. It's just a hunch. Just to give you some well-needed context for this video, this wasn't in like a big red state. This wasn't in Kentucky. This was in New York City, Soho, downtown Manhattan, the, the center of New York City on a Saturday. Like while everyone's going to brunch, these people go and they march for blocks on blocks and then they uh, stand in front of Planned Parenthood and uh, harass people going to get health care. This isn't in a red state. This is happening. This is coming to a theater near you. 
right? This is like New York, New York State, New York City, downtown during brunch that they do this. It's wild. It's a group called Witness for Life. If you saw on a video years ago where they had a guy, a Groyper, standing on the church steps with the clergy, the clergy of that church, and Father Fidelis saying, uh, the guy saying, you know, your body, your choice, nah, your body belongs to me. And the clergy of that church did not have a problem with what he was saying at all, because that guy's been back at multiple uh, clinic invasions and stuff. So this is, uh, you know, this is some, some honesty that they were showing. And that's why I showed up to, you know, to kind of boost their, uh, their honesty.